Hi guys, my name is Anuj Jindal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have a very unique interview with Pallav, who has cleared RBI in the year 2019 in his third attempt. So, Pallav, my first question and a very basic question to you is to tell all the viewers about your basic background, uh, education, work ex, attempts in RBI. How has the journey been, etc., etc. Uh, first of all, I like to thank you, Anuj Jindal sir, and the whole team. Uh, for giving such a good experience and helping me throughout the journey. Uh, I'm from Punjab, Amritsar. I have done my B.Tech from Guru Nanak Dev University and then after that I have done my MBA from IIT Roorkee. After that I ended up uh, in an IT company and uh, I was I always knew I am not an IT person. So I had to look after some of the options. Luckily I ended into a nationalized bank but my viewpoint was always to go into RBI. So this was my third attempt with RBI. So I have been preparing for RBI for more than three years. I think it's uh, since the result is delayed. So now it is almost four years. Mm -hmm. So it has been a very, very long journey for me. Mm -hmm. So you told me that you've been working in a bank for the last uh, two, two and a half, four years, I believe. Three years. Three, three years. years. So how has it been working in such a demanding environment and simultaneously preparing for RBI? Uh, it has been... a Tough journey, I will say, but it has taught me a lot of things. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing, two biggest thing I'll tell uh, that what it has taught me first is discipline and second is respecting my time. Mm -hmm. So when are you, when you are in job and you have to prepare something like RBI, which is very, very competitive nowadays, you always have to uh, put your head down and you have to look for opportunities to study. So mm -hmm. you always have to respect your time. Mm -hmm. You will not get a time after your job or before your job. You have to look it for ev throughout your day. Mm -hmm. So this has been a rewarding journey for me because it has taught me this skill of uh, time management. Mm -hmm. So I used to look time in between lunch, while traveling, after uh, the session gets, after the my office gets over, mm -hmm. in between meetings sometimes. So uh, I used to uh, utilize my time like that. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, it has been demanding and yes, rewardful for me. Well, in your story, there are all the things that the majority aspirants RBI ke preparation karte time face karte hain. Mm. For example, multiple attempts in RBI. Failure bhi face kiya, success bhi face kiya. Uske saath saath uh, working while studying at the same time. Uh, school and educational background uh, bhoat zada hi-fi kehte hain, waisa nahi hai. So, my first question is ki thoda sa aapne baare mein educational work ex and general background students ko batao jisse ki unko thoda idea lage. I basically belong to Amri sir. Or I have done engineering or MBA. Kiya hua. Engineering I have done from Punjab itself and uh, MBA I have done from IIT Rukki. But basically I am a very very average student. I was a very very average student. But I have never extraordinary I perform any extraordinary And I have not done any confidence in my I have not done any confidence कई बार तो below average भी मैंने perform किया lot of years through my academic career I have all through performed below average mm. so basically यही है I'm MBA and engineering graduate mm. with a decent or average academic profile mm. तुम्हारी school की कोई story है uh, school या college I think दोनों mix कर सकते हैं which relates to your education तो वो थोड़ा सा uh, School ki or college ki aisa kar sakte ki like after my 10th, I, in 10th also I got a very, uh, I got around 80-82 percentage which mm -hmm. is very very average in 10th. Mm -hmm. Or uske baad jab hum 12th mein aaya, to bilkul 11th mein aaya, I was not at all concentrating on my studies. Mm -hmm. To kai baar first term or second term ho aare maha hota hai, first term, second term, I consecutively mainne fail bhi kiya hai. Mm -hmm. So tab mujhe, ab dekhta hoon, pass mein to realize hi nahi hota tha how important is your education. And I think that if I was like this, then I would not have achieved even a salary, even a salary of 5,000. So it's a very interesting story. I know my friends are watching me, that how I was and how my academic career is going. Especially in 11th and 12th. So I mean, RBI gives you a clean slate that whatever you are going to pass, you can actually buy it. It doesn't matter. Your past, uh, how you have performed, kya aapke marks hai, 10th, mein, 12th, mein, maybe an impression it gives to the interview, mm -hmm. but cleans it, proper cleans it, everyone has the same chance. Mm -hmm. So I think I am an example of that. Mm -hmm. So SBI 
इसी तरह थोड़ा सा आते हैं यू बिन वर्किंग देयर फॉर द पास्ट थ्री इयर्स एंड आई थिंक बहुत सीखने को मिला होगा पिछले तीन सालों में तो हाउ डिड यू मैनेज योर वर्क एज अ ब्रांच मैनेजर रिसेंटली एंड साइमल्टेनियसली स्टार्टिंग एंड प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आर बी uh first of all uh, you have to get it very clear in your mind mm-hmm. that who are you mm-hmm. i was uh, i was working in a nationalized bank that is sbi par hamesha mere dimag mein ye rehta tha ki i am also an rbi aspirant that thing has to be very very clear mm-hmm. kyunki wo clear nahi hoga to aapka aapka motivation ek nahi rahega agar wo motivation nahi hai to kuch nahi hai par mm-hmm. uh, if you are clear in that mm-hmm. you will spend every moment for your preparation mm-hmm. i think uh, every bit of energy you will spend for that hmm. to mera bhi aisa hi tha hmm. so morning when i used to wake up i already have planned the previous night ki mujhe agle din kya karna hai hmm. wo planning clear thi and i used to write the previous night board pe likh leta tha hmm. what i have to do the next day hmm. time kaise nikalna wo nikal jata tha hmm. kyunki main 80 km up and down like hmm. one, maybe 160 km up and down kai baar travel karta tha hmm. to usme 6 5 hours 6 hours ki journey hoti thi hmm. usme bhi i was very easily able to manage kya mujhe padhna hai aur kya nahi padhna hmm. even through when i am working for 9 or 10 hours in a branch there is lunch break which give you around another 30 minutes or in between 10 15 minutes easily every job will give you so agar aap calculate karo hmm. isi ko to it gives you around good 5 5 and 1/2 hours jisme agar aapne padh liya so it is sorted for you और घर आके आपको कुछ आधा घंटा मे बी आपको देना नहीं देना दैट सो मैंने ऐसे ही मैनेज किया अदर देन दैट लॉट्स ऑफ वीडियोस एवरीथिंग व्हिच इज कन्वीनिएंट टू मी सो अब सब कुछ अपने लिए एक हिसाब से मैंने कस्टमाइज किया और फिर तैयार की तो आई थिंक फॉर वर्किंग कैंडिडेट्स यही मंत्र होगा इसके अलावा आपको शाम को टाइम या सुबह टाइम अपने लैपटॉप पे घर में नहीं मिलने वाला एक्सेप्ट वीकेंड्स बहुत सारे एस्पिरेंट्स जो सेलेक्ट हो जाते हैं बोलते हैं कि जब ट्रैवल कर रहे हो तो पढ़ लो बहुत सारे पढ़ते भी हैं एक्चुअली सक्सेसफुली अच्छे से पढ़ते भी हैं बट बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स को नहीं पता कि वे छः घंटे में कैसे पढ़ा बिकॉज सिक्स आवर्स ट्रैवलिंग एवरी डे इज एक्चुअली अर टास्क टास्क ओके यू आर सो मेंटली एंड फिजिकली टायर्ड कि नहीं है बहना जी उसके साथ भी और उसके बाद भी तो वो छः घंटे में एक्चुअली कैसे पढ़ाई की वो थोड़ा सा आइडिया दो ट्रैवल करना सिक्स आवर्स डे इन डे आउट फाइव आवर्स डे इन डे आउट Actually में वो बहुत बोरिंग है यू विल नॉट इंजॉय दैट बट इफ यू हैव अ टास्क इन योर माइंड कि मुझे ये पढ़ना है सो आई थिंक इट इज मोर ऑफ अ टास्क देन ट्रेवलिंग लाइक यू आर यू आर हैविंग अ जर्नी और समथिंग सो मुझे जहां तक मुझे याद है अब मैं अगर रिकॉल करूँ तो मुझे नहीं लगता मैं छह आर ट्रेवल कर रहा हूँ एंड आई एम माई फिजिकल वॉट माई बॉडी टेल्स टू माई बॉडी माई बॉडी विल रिएक्ट टूवर्ड्स दैट मुझे नहीं लगता कि मैं वो छह आवर्स ट्रेवल कर रहा हूँ मुझे ऐसा लग रहा है कि मैं वो छह आवर्स या पांच आवर्स जितना भी है शायद वो मैं अपना सिलेबस कवर कर रहा हूँ या रिवाइज कर रहा हूँ सो ऐसा मेरे साथ तो ऐसा नहीं था आई वॉज एबल टू गिव फाइव आवर्स टू माई स्टडीज तो मुझे लगता है कि वो मैं पढ़ा ही किया ज्यादा ट्रेवल नहीं किया बिकॉज ऑलवेज आई यूज टू टेक माई लैपटॉप नॉट लैपटॉप माई फोन एंड आई यूज टू स्टडी तो स्टूडेंट्स जब तुम लैपटॉप पे पढ़ रहे हो या फिर फोन पे पढ़ रहे हो ट्रेवल करते हुए तो यू हैव लिमिटेड सेट ऑफ सोर्सेज आप फैला नहीं सकते अपनी राइट हाउ डिड यू मेक श्योर की ये ये सोर्सेज मुझे पढ़ने हैं और ये सोर्सेज नहीं पढ़ने बिकॉज सोशल मीडिया पे बहुत सारी जगह पे लॉर्ड ऑफ सोर्सेज अवेलेबल लॉर्ड ऑफ टीचर्स अवेलेबल हाउ डिड यू फिगर आउट की एंड वेन डिड यू फिगर आउट कि ये करना है ये नहीं करना है आई थिंक बिफोर एग्जीक्यूशन प्लानिंग इज अटमोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड सेम इज फॉर क्रैकिंग एनी थिंग इन लाइफ अगर आपको कुछ भी करना है बिफोर एग्जीक्यूशन यू हैव टू प्लान समथिंग सो यू हैव टू गिव इम्पॉर्टेंस टू प्लानिंग ऑल्सो इफ यू आर इफ यू आर नाइनटी और एटी परसेंट ऑफ योर टाइम इज गोइंग फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन रेस्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट यू शुड पुट फॉर प्लानिंग सो मैंने भी वैसा ही किया सो दैट ट्रेवल टाइम वॉज एग्जीक्यूटिंग बिफोर दैट टाइम अ लॉट ऑफ प्लानिंग वो मैंने दो तीन साल जैसे अटैम्प्ट भी दिए सो फर्स्ट ईयर मुझे पता लग गया था कि कैसा है एग्जाम और क्या लेवल की प्रेपरेशन चाहिए सो आई यूज टू लाइक आई यू आई नेवर हैड वास्ट लाइक सोर्सेज मैंने काफी एक्सपेरिमेंट किया पिक किया समथिंग फ्रॉम हेयर समथिंग फ्रॉम देयर एंड देन आई वेंट विद इट लाइक क्या चीज कहाँ से लेनी है अकॉर्डिंग टू मी मुझे क्या सूट करता है देन आई हैव टू पिक अ लॉट ऑफ प्लानिंग वेंट इन देन ओनली आई वेंट फॉर एग्जीक्यूशन सोर्सेज फिक्स कर लिए पहले पढ़ने से पहले and then you stuck to those sources that yes, this yes. is what i'm going to study for the next 3 hours while i'm traveling yes yes right that is very very important ye question thoda narcissistic hai so uh, viewers please don't judge me for this question uh, you started with the journey of rbi with me 
way back in 2017 there's a story behind the entire uh, you know journey to kyu decide kiya tumne ki mere sath start karna hai ya fir pair is tarah se karna hai actually sir uh, when i was looking for the courses way back in 2017 तो देर वॉज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नॉट मैनी प्लेयर्स और बहुत सारा कॉन्टेंट अवेलेबल नहीं था इंटरनेट पे दैट इट इज अवेलेबल नाउ सो आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू लाइक क्या कौन कहीं से मुझे मटीरियल मिल जाए या कोई कोचिंग मिल जाए जो इससे मुझे हेल्प हो जाए कि गाइड कर दे सो आई वॉज गोइंग आई थिंक टू थ्री ऑप्शन आई वेंट थ्रू सो फाइनली आई स्टार्ट दैट लेट्स कॉल दैम ओके सो मैंने जब आपको कॉल किया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज वेरी रेयर द कोचिंग क्लास यू आर कॉलिंग और वो ही टीचर इट सेल्फ गिफ्ट जान सर दैट वॉज सो यू पिक द कॉल एंड आई आस्क यू सर वॉट इज द कोर्स कैंडली गाइड मी थ्रू दैट वॉट इज द हाउ मच इट विल कॉस्ट मी एंड देन आई आई रिमेंबर आस्किंग यू दिस क्वेश्चन दैट सर ऑलरेडी दो तीन प्लेयर्स हैं मार्केट में जहाँ से मिल जाएगा वाई शुड आई Why should I buy your course? Mm-hmm. So uh, for what you gave answer? Ki see English as a almost content and all. Maybe it is better or it is not better. Say, almost sab ka same hai. Mm-hmm. But what uh, your differentiation is? First mm-hmm. of all, you will get handled support mm-hmm. from your side. Mm-hmm. Kuch bhi query ho, we can ask you personally. And second is you said that uh, English jiska ki. 33% of the marks of phase 2 are english okay mm-hmm. so you give us uh, like uh, we will write the essay you personally will check it and give us the reviews and that also 10 15 essays mm-hmm. so that was very promising at that time so mujhe bahut acha laga ki like this person can guide us and make us make mm-hmm. through this so that's why that was the reason i chose you mm-hmm. and i thought uh, choosing you was a good step because mm-hmm. in this two years you have personally guided me whenever i have some doubt i'll just put a message in telegram or your whatsapp within 24 hours you will definitely help me so i think that was the reason and the promise was fulfilled mm-hmm. there is very big support of your family also behind yes. your uh, success and definitely. in this entire journey to uh, tumhari wife ka tumhare parents ka thoda wife se baat karte hain ki exactly unhone kis tarah se help kiya uh, and how did she play her part in the entire trip आई थिंक उनका पार्ट बहुत बड़ा था क्योंकि सिंस मेरे पास टाइम भी बहुत कम था एंड मुझे करना ही था सो एक फैमिली सपोर्ट बहुत बड़ी चीज हो जाती है एंड शी ऑल्सो इज ऑफ सेम बैकग्राउंड एज मी सो उसने भी वही पढ़ाई करी है तो हम क्या करते थे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल लेट हर नो वट आई वॉन्टेड एट दी एंड ऑफ द डे बिकॉज मेरे पास उतना टाइम नहीं रहता था कि आई प्रिंट द डॉक्यूमेंट्स एंड गेट ऑल द all the work to be done like mm-hmm. aisa kuch mm-hmm. so i will tell her this is what i need and mm-hmm. she is very good in googling mm-hmm. or very good at finding material or jo maine download karna and all that mm-hmm. oh, wo sab kaam karke ready rehta tha jab tak main ghar aata tha mm-hmm. uske baad i'll go through it and she'll also manage to cross question me mm-hmm. so make it very interactive my whole preparation was very very interactive like if you are going out for a tea for a dinner yeah. uh, simultaneously she would ask okay this government scheme you do you remember what is this question so yeah. always 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 i was mere mcqs chalte rehte the yeah. so personally bhi mujhe bahut acha lagta tha kyunki ek tarike se revision bhi ho rahi thi and if i was able to crack that it, it would make me feel aesthetic about it so mujhe lagta hai kehne ko choti baat hai but it gave me a lot of support aise aise kai kai choti cheeze hain jisme mujhe support mila so i'm i, I feel very lucky i think uh, dinner table pe jab hum baithte hain ya lunch karte yes. hain so normally hamari tendency hoti hai netflix dekh lete hain yes, yes, yes. let's relax for a bit but i think she made sure ki या डिनर टेबल पे लंच टेबल पे बातें हो रही हैं हो रही हैं और वो आरबीआई के रिलेटेड ही हो रही हैं थ्रू आउट जर्नी हंड्रेड परसेंट हम उसी के बारे में बातें करते थे थोड़ा बहुत इधर भी बट मेजोरिटी यही बातें होती थी चलो लेट्स गेट टू द कोर क्वेश्चंस नाउ व्हिच इज बेसिकली सोर्सेज तो यू हैड हैड यू हैव हैड अ वेरी वेल डिफाइंड लिस्ट ऑफ सोर्सेज जो तुमने यूज किए फेज 1 फेज 2 इंटरव्यू के लिए तो फेज 1 से स्टार्ट करते हैं कि जनरल अवेयरनेस में किस तरह से प्रिपरेशन करी एंड कौन रीजनिंग इंग्लिश में किस तरह से प्रिपरेशन करी देन विल गो टू फेज टू ओके सो फेज वन माय स्ट्रेटजी मे बी ओनली कन्फाइंड वो स्ट्रेटजी शायद मेरे लिए ही काम करे इट मे नॉट वर्क फॉर एवरी पर्सन आउट देयर बिकॉज आई हैव गिवन कैट आई हैव गिवन एस बी आई पी ओ सो मुझे पता था कि क्वान रीजनिंग इंग्लिश आई वॉज गुड इनफ कॉन्फिडेंट आई वॉज कॉन्फिडेंट but still i know where my weakness is like quants is not my strength it is mm. kind of my weakness okay mm. reasoning i can do decent and english i can also do decent so mm. i knew that mm. so my 100% concentration was on ga because ga ka 40% weightage of phase 1 is ga mm. so i always knew ga has ga has to play a role if i have to get through mm. 
सो माई और मेरा एम था सिक्सटी प्लस ऑलवेज बिकॉज इफ आई गेट सिक्सटी प्लस देन इट इज इट मेक्स थिंग्स वेरी इजी फॉर मी और ट्वेंटी 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 भी लाए तो वन ट्वेंटी टू समथिंग लाइक दैट यू विल क्लियर थ्रू ओके सो फेज वन के लिए जीके के लिए स्पेसिफिकली आई रिलाइड ऑन अफेयर्स क्लाउड आई थिंक दैट इज अ वेरी गुड मटेरियल ओके मॉर्निंग उससे स्टार्ट किया ओके वेन आई आई एम ट्रेवलिंग देन लॉट ऑफ एम सी क्यू वीडियोज कम्स आई थिंक योर चैनल ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड वेरी गुड वीडियो कंटेंट दैट आई यूज टू सी एंड आई यूज टू मिक्स इट अप विद लॉट ऑफ एम सी क्यूज लॉट मीन्स अराउंड वन थाउजेंड एम सी क्यूज फॉर वन मंथ थ्रू डिफरेंट सोर्सेज आई थिंक थ्री हंड्रेड थ्री फिफ्टी विल कम इन स्पॉट लाइट इट सेल्फ देन आई यूज टू मिक्स अप विद बैंकर्स अड्डा एंड ऑनलाइन वीडियोज ऑल्सो एम सी क्यूज कम सो दिस वॉज माई मेन फोकस फॉर जी ए एंड फॉर क्वान्स वॉट आई डिड इज द डे वन द नोटिफिकेशन केम आई स्टार्टेड राइटिंग माई मॉक टेस्ट बिकॉज क्या है कि हम जिस चीज को मेजर नहीं कर सकते उसमें हम मास्टरिंग नहीं कर सकते we have to first measure that mm-hmm. so uh, i remember the day i gave my first mock mm-hmm. i got around 55 percentage right? mm-hmm. which which is very bad mm-hmm. so but the day even one day before my exam mm-hmm. the actual phase one i gave the interview uh, i gave the mock mm-hmm. test and i got 99 plus mm-hmm. so i was able to figure like how my uh, how my uh, productivity is increasing mm-hmm. how my marks is increasing so in is duran 45 50 days ke duran maine 15 mocks diye उन्हीं को एनालाइज किया मैं हाउ आई यूज टू डू इज वन डे मॉक टू डे एनालिसिस वन डे मॉक टू डे एनालिसिस एंड इन बिटवीन इफ आई फाइंड दैट ओके टाइम एंड वर्क इज टेकिंग मोर व्हिच आई कैन डू बट स्टिल आई एम नॉट एबल टू क्रैक देन आई यूज टू गो बैक टू द बेसिक्स क्लियर दोस एंड देन अगेन डू इट सो दैट्स दैट्स वेरी क्लियर फॉर फेज 1 फॉर मी एंड इट वर्क्ड एवरी टाइम आई गिव आई थिंक मॉक्स का एनालिसिस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है यहां आई थिंक मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज़ बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स मॉक्स बहुत रेगुलरली देते हैं बट दे डोंट know how to analyze या फिर they don't analyze because of laziness hmm. but I think वो एक दिन mock दो दिन analysis बहुत अच्छा एक routine है uh, I think if you are not analyzing then the whole uh, practice of doing mock हाँ. is not productive enough right. so आपको वो करना ही पड़ेगा अगर आपने mock दिया है तो make sure even within three four days you analyze that that is hmm. very very important for phase one hmm. and phase one I think in RBI is most important hmm. or most difficult also and उसमें uh, hmm. बहुत कंपटीशन है एंड इफ यू इफ यू आर लाइक आई बी पी एस पी ओ एस बी आई पी ओ दीज पीपल आर दे वुड हैव स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन दिस थिंग सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बीट दैम इन दिस आपको ये करना ही पड़ेगा मॉक देना पड़ेगा और उसका एनालिसिस जी फेज टू की तरफ आते हैं ई एस आई एफ एम एंड देन इंग्लिश ई एस आई में क्या प्रिपरेशन स्ट्रेटेजी थी ई एस आई विल फर्दर विल सेग्रीगेट इन टू टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज द स्टेटिक and uh, other is the current which mm-hmm. includes your uh, government schemes mm-hmm. your economic survey and budget okay mm-hmm. first we'll talk about esi so mm-hmm. what i used to do is since i was enrolled in your mm-hmm. course mm-hmm. Uh, so there are i think uh, i never followed any book i never mm-hmm. bought any book mm-hmm. so many kya kiya i whatever chapters is there i used to print it okay mm-hmm. and most of the time it is i used to make a, a mind maps out of it okay mm-hmm. a storyline will run Mm-hmm. and i think if you go through that storyline four to five times that is good enough mm-hmm. just stick to the basics aisa kabhi bhi nahi sochna chahiye ki aisa question nahi aa sakta mm-hmm. because rbi may surprise you by asking very obvious and very easy questions also mm-hmm. so you cover that aur us mujhe lagta hai agar aapne wo kiya hai mm-hmm. so 30 to 35% which is 30 marks आप उसमें से आराम से 95 परसेंट स्कोर कर सकते हैं इफ यू हैव डन दैट सो आई यूज टू डू दैट ऑल्सो दैट हैज वर्क फॉर मी रेस्ट इज जीके दैट इज करंट 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 दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई फॉलोड दिस व्हाट आई हैव फॉलोड इन फॉर फेज 1 व्हाट करंट क्लाउड अफेयर्स दैट हेल्प मी देन सेकंड आई आल्सो फॉर फेज 2 यू आल्सो गिव अ गुड एनालिसिस ऑफ द uh this gk hmm. that also helped me hmm. and uh, i also referred vision is ah. vision is also last 6 months i did hmm. and uh, yours also i did last 6 months because hmm. i didn't have time to go through whole years so hmm. i concentrated on last 6 months okay and uh, for uh, government schemes hmm. again i referred two to three sources hmm. first of all i referred uh, vision one uh, is parliament comes is parliament yeah. i have made notes hmm. of it Mm-hmm. then i have read your mm-hmm. your uh, this uh, material also mm-hmm. ministry wise which you segregate i have mm-hmm. i have uh, downloaded that printed that usko mm-hmm. sab print kar liya third i also referred uh, edutap mm-hmm. so i made a comprehensive document out of mm-hmm. these three mm-hmm. 
mm. and then study it because government schemes will take a lot and lot of time. Mm. You have to go through it at least three to four times mm. if you have to remember that in exam. Mm. So, it is very important and still you will not be able to crack 100% mm. if you are doing 80 to 90% out of government schemes that is good enough. Mm. Because there is no timeline. People mm. always ask like one year or two years, how mm. much time period we government schemes. Kare? Mm. RBI can ask you anything. Hmm. anything hmm. and uh, for uh, this budget you hmm. read budget speech which hmm. is given by fm if hmm. you read that just mark the important things hmm. numbers are very important in this hmm. you go through it three to four times that will be enough hmm. and for economic survey i referred your hmm. gist which you gave me and i uh, and video also. videos videos yeah right. so that was good enough for hmm. esi hmm. rest i am not able to be called what finance management esi may one more point which is uh, you said that static you have covered first and you covered it and we were talking about this also. So, many students focus on the current and they forget about the static portion or mm-hmm. yeah, ignore it. What is your experience in this area? How much time do you cover static or how much time do you give ESI? I think static should give respect to the status as much as it is. That is very very important mm-hmm. because if you miss out on static, mm-hmm which everyone else will score on, then uh-huh. you will lose in, you will lose a very easy points. One uh-huh. number may bohat zada aate hai wo. Uh-huh. So you should give ample amount of time because uh-huh. only after you know good about static, uh-huh. you have your basics are clear, then only you will be understanding better what is happening right now. Right. So static us liye bhi bohat important hai. And uh-huh. second marks ke liye bhi bohat important hai. 30-35 uh-huh. marks are very important marks for clearing this exam. Uh-huh. This may say aap easily 30 la sakte ho. Exactly. So I think first step should be to get uh, rid of static yeah. because aapke basics bhi usme bahut zyada clear hote hain which is very very important hmm chalo ab aate hain fm ki taraf which is more heavy on the static portion yeah. to finance management uh, dono ki preparation kis tarah se uh, finance or management uh, i'll talk about finance hmm. uh, finance also same strategy i applied which i applied for the esi yes, hmm. i saw all your videos hmm. i made uh, printed all the documents okay mm. then i read it multiple times mm. to add to that uh, numericals are also uh, I, I went through all the numericals because mm. i didn't i don't want to leave any stone unturned right. but up they call past trends numerical weightage has reduced drastically and now right. this time it was nothing, nothing not there. Mm. but i will not recommend any of the student mm. to just leave it right until and unless unke paas time bilkul nahi hai. So choose any one source, hmm. any one source, just complete it throughout hmm. Hmm. and then you give your uh, tests. Hmm. Tests are also important in phase 2 also. Hmm. Just give your test, analyze how much you are scoring, kya hmm. hai, because that also gives you a lot of insights about hmm. your prep. Hmm. So that is important. Hmm. So finance ke liye maine yehi kiya. I, hmm. I choose one, I, I, was, I went through your documents hmm. and I chose two, three different mocks. Hmm. I didn't only rely on your mocks, but hmm. simultaneously I did market mein jo achhe mocks chal hai, hmm. I did two, three mo- more mocks just to analyze how is my preparation. Jitne zyada mocks lo, utna better hai. Jee. Different perspective milta hai. And uh, because uh, phase two ke baad even mocks are more important. Phase one ke baad even more mocks are more important because those are given by only the people who have played phase one. Right. So after giving that in those 15 days, you can analyze where you stand right now. Haan. That also gives you an insight. Haan. So I so think that helped me also. Ranking mein kaapi pata lang jata. Yes, yes, yes. Phase 2, that I think I scored uh, very decent, good marks in mm-hmm. Phase 2 because I was doing that consistently. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's now talk about English descriptive. Very management. I, I, I lift management, yes. Yeah. Let's talk about management. So, management, uh, there is a confined syllabus. Mm-hmm. You have to do it. Mm-hmm. And you. there are so many theories. Mm-hmm. Those are very confusing at the time. Mm-hmm. What we think is, uh, management is a cakewalk. It is very, very easy. Mm-hmm. But... The trick here is RBI always, always ask indirect questions from them. Mm. So, first of all, go through the whole syllabus multiple times. Mm. The theories should be on your tips. Who has mm. given it? What is the meaning? Everything should be very clear. And mm. then comes the importance of the case studies. Mm. So, uh, case studies are very, very important because mm. uh, no one asks you direct questions. Right. There will be a case study given mm. and there will be answer, uh, the questions asked and multiple questions will be there. Mm. Every, every option will look like your answer. Right. So that is the most tricky part about management. Mm. So it is not that easy. Mm. You have to read it multiple times. You have mm. to understand the core of that theory. Mm. And then you have to implement at that stage. Mm. So here the implementation on that 
day of exam also is very important for mm-hmm. management mm-hmm. so i read uh, i uh, for you i what i thought is your material for management was mm-hmm. very very good mm-hmm. and uh, i relied completely for two years mm-hmm. i have relied on that mm-hmm. but uh, i have read that so many times that mm-hmm. some mastery i should have on that mm-hmm. and simultaneously i used to do a lot of uh, this uh, Uh, case studies from you mm-hmm. and other sources mm-hmm. and mocks also I gave mm-hmm. and analyze them. So this helped me a lot in FM. Mm-hmm. Management may uh, this year a lot of people have been saying finance management was easy tha, was scoring tha. But a lot of students have realized ki easy lag raha tha, well, but number utne nahi hai, hai. jitne aane chahiye the. Because management may they lost a lot of marks. Yes, yes, yes. So wo eliminate karna muskil ho raha tha because lot of disputed questions are there, mm-hmm. jiska abhi tak bhi answer nahi pata. Nahi pata. Exactly. So that is what the material may seem easy, Haan. but the questions which are asked are very very tricky. Hmm. So you have to know ins and out of that theory, and then you have to implement that. Haan. There also, if I'm I personally how I did was I took a paper and pen, and then I used to tick mark. Okay, this is this cannot be there. This cannot. Be there. I have to first draw that theory, and Haan. then I have to analyze that. What is Haan. the answer? Right. So ऐसे ही questions होंगे management में. So hmm. those will be tricky. You may seem that this is correct or this is wrong. Mm-hmm. but that would always be a trick something mm-hmm. behind that mm-hmm. uh let's not talk about uh, english descriptive so english descriptive mein kya strategy follow kari which work for you english descriptive i think uh, you should first of all shortlist some good amount of essay topics mm-hmm. okay essay topics and you should form a copy or some kind of folder mm-hmm. you should try to read daily if you are reading some article some newspapers you should mm-hmm. try to extract सम मटीरियल जिसको आप उस टाइम कंपाइल कर सकें एंड यू शुड ट्राई टू इवॉल्व दैट मटीरियल जितना आप इवॉल्व करोगे आपके पास उतना डेटा होगा ठीक है आफ्टर दैट आफ्टर यू हैव गॉट गुड नंबर ऑफ टॉपिक्स फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन टॉपिक्स यू शुड ट्राई टू राइट इट यू शुड ट्राई टू राइट इट एंड देन यू शुड ट्राई टू गेट इट चेक विद सम वन हु इज नॉट गुड इनफ टू चेक योर नॉलेज आई थिंक दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इज वेयर आई मिस्ड बिकॉज देर वॉज सम constraints hmm. but i think that is the only trick if you want to score good in english hmm. so like you also uh, you also offer uh, that uh, you write some essays hmm. and you get it checked by you i think that works for that works for many many candidates hmm. i also tried uh, but I, i i i was not able to write more than five or six essays hmm. so i think uh, you should as a candidate if i have to suggest someone hmm. to make a good number of topics 15 to 16 topics hmm. and try to get it checked by someone hmm. even if agar usme se topics mein se nahi aa rahe but still hmm. there will be a lot of relevant data out of those 15 16 hmm. jo aap us time us pe likh sake hmm. so i think again practice will play a big role hmm. in this english hmm. and rest essay and compressi also hmm. the same hmm. you have to write around 10 presses hmm. and you have to do some uh, this uh, analysis yeah. analysis bhi karna zaruri hai ki sahi likha hai ya galat likha yeah, hai you have to get it checked with some check. yeah hmm. uh लास्ट सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट एरिया पे आते हैं विच इज मॉक इंटरव्यूज आई नो बिकॉज यू टोल्ड मी की योर फादर हेल्प यू अलॉट इन योर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ इंटरव्यू तो एग्जैक्टली हुआ क्या उस स्टेज पे कैसे हेल्प किए उन लोग उन्होंने माई फादर ही इज इन सीनियर मैनेज ही रिटायर्ड इन सीनियर मैनेजर इन दैंक एंड ही is also a student till now ही इज डूइंग लॉट ऑफ कोर्स इज इन फाइनेंस एंड ऑल रिलेटेड टू बैंकिंग एंड रेगुलेशन सो plan pehle se hi set tha he mm. always used to tell me you just clear phase 2 and then i'll uh, i'll try to help you in whatever way i can so mm. the day result came mm. and uh, as i told him that i am through what mm. he tell, told me is that uh, just prepare 4 to 500 just send me your resume mm. your bio data and prepare 4 to 500 questions out of your resume mm. i was thinking like how can i prepare 4 to 500 questions about myself mm. about my work experience it is mm. not realistic mm. then uh, luckily or uh, coincident what happened i was traveling and i was seeing uh, you were also live okay mm. that day about mm. the interview mm. you also said the same thing you were mm. showing us the pdf that these are the segments you can divide your profile into mm. like your educational background your work experience your hobbies and so many things mm. and you have to prepare four to four to five hundred questions out of that mm. so i was very surprised mm. and uh, my father's uh, suggestion was validated by you mm. so that's when our preparation started Mm. so he came to chennai mm. where my interview was uh-huh. two to three weeks back before, before my interview, interview. Mm. and what he did was he used to, i used to go to office he used mm. to sit down and he used to uh, select one segment and prepare mm. questions out of my biodata and mm. write the answers for them mm. 
Mm. And daily we used to practice like this. He mm. will write the bio data. I will tweak in. I'll put this is not working. This is not right. Mm. And evening we'll have a two hour session daily. Mm. How we can improve? Like how we can make them better? How we can make them sound natural? Yeah. So full fourteen to fifteen days we did like this. And to be, uh, uh, it was very surprising actually in the day of interview when sixty percent of the questions mm. were the same as he told me. Mm. And the the line of the questions, like mm. like the transcript, was mm. also the same. And I uh. even started smiling at the, in the middle. So that is how big role my father played mm. in the interview and mm. eventually in my RBI journey. So I'm very happy and very lucky to have him. So, uh, you talked about the actual interview. You were telling me that these three questions the, yes. which are back to back. And actually, usse pata laga ki how can you actually di- direct yeah. your own interview? Yes. So can you tell me again? Because I think it's very important. Yes. So actually what my father said is uh, that interview is just like a drive of a car. Either mm. you have to drive or the panelists will drive. Yeah. First, they will give you the option. Okay, this is the key. Yeah. Please drive it. Yeah. If you don't have anything interesting, they'll take the key back mm. and they will drive the interview. So same thing happened. What happened? They asked me about what is your profile in R- in SBI mm. and what you are what are you doing right now? So mm. I was there in I was doing my training in Rusu rural rural back uh, rural mm. branch. Mm. So they asked me something about KCC and suddenly they asked. Uh, they said, okay, completely out of contact. What is cryptocurrency? Mm. So this thing we have we have discussed just a week back. If this thing comes, how will we answer? Mm. What is cryptocurrency? And definitely the next question will be why RBI is not regulating or the, the uh, cryptocurrency is not coming into picture in India. Uh-huh. We also discussed that. So he uh-huh. told me when this kind of question comes, point one, point two, point three, and what should be the point three so that it should give them indication what should uh, my next question be. Mm-hmm. So my point three, I ended that it can also lead to money laundering. Uh-huh. So the next question was what what is money laundering and what are the processes? Uh-huh. So already we have prepared like that. So mm-hmm. the line of questions, what indication, what keyword we will give to them so mm-hmm. that that is a, they also get the indication what we have to ask them. Mm-hmm. So I think we have, uh, my and my, me and my father were able to uh, predict that and mm-hmm. the interviews was on the same lines. Mm-hmm. And so this is a small gift that I uh, have for you, uh, especially things that are, you know, close to me and something that I really like. So this is a book. I've talked about it a lot of times in my videos. Uh, it's called Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. It's basically about hu- evolution of uh, humankind. And this is uh, the second part of the book, which even I have not read yet. And uh, I'm expecting that you will tell me how good or bad the next part is. So these are, uh, you know, two special things that I have got for you. So Thank you very much, sir. Uh, first of all, thank you for all, all this journey you have supported us. And uh, then thank you for today. This has really made my day. Thank you, sir. I'll definitely read them and pass on the message. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I think it's very important that uh, message uh, so when students like you come forward and, you know, share your journey with other aspirants, and students who have actually uh, cleared the examination and have been in touch with me personally. So the pride that I feel in yes, you know, yes, seeing yes. that, okay, ye kalik aspirant tha, aaj, he's now into another journey of life. It feels amazing. It's, even even uh, I appreciate the kind of confidence uh, you show in the students. So that is really motivating for us also. So that actually helps us to go into that mindset to play the exam. So mm. really, really thank you. Thanks a lot.